righty. Um, next question I have, Pastor Steve, um, says this. Uh, how can I manage my time between work, family, wife, kids, church, ministry, prayer, and fellowship, and still do everything well or at 100%? I feel as if I'm mediocre at best because I don't have the ability to devote the time necessary to do it all well. Well, uh, you know, the first thing that, that I do when I'm looking at my time is I, uh, I prioritize. And so uh, there are, uh, you know, depending on what your job is, <clears throat> there are priorities that you need to uh, be putting in place. And so, for example, obviously your, your time with the Lord is your major priority. And so that needs to be a focus. You need to have a set time where you, where you sit down and you talk to the Lord and you spend some time in the Word. And so it just needs to be done. And it, uh, if you don't do that, your life is going to be different than if you do. And so that's that's first thing. And so um, I have a time that I spend with the Lord. And then secondly is with my family. There uh, there needs to be time with my family. Now, I've been, a, uh, I've been a pastor for a long time. And for a lot of the time that I was a pastor, I wasn't working full time as a pastor. Uh, I had a I had a job on the outside. So when you hear me talking about my construction jobs and that kind of thing, uh, a lot of times, a lot of that time, um, I was working as an assistant pastor or as a head pastor. And so um, I had to uh, kind of prioritize things again in, in the sense that obviously I'm going to go to work and I'm working eight hours a day. And when I'm at work, I'm at work and that's what I'm doing. And uh, uh, if there were uh, a few hours outside of work that I needed to devote uh, to getting ready, then I would do that. Um, but I tried to keep work at work. And then, uh, you know, as far as my family went, I'm also a pastor, and so I have to have time to study. And so uh, I, w I would set out a little bit of time to study and that kind of thing. And, I, you know, I've always had a busy life. And so uh, my wife understood that getting into uh, uh, a marriage with me. And so, you know, we've always had people coming over to our house. Sometimes we've had people living in our house, and she's always been really understanding. But one of the things that uh, I did specifically with my wife when uh, she started feeling like I wasn't paying enough attention to her was she just got a night. And it's not the only night. You know, it's, we, spent some, uh, we spent time together uh, all during the week. But there was one night, in the, and the time that I'm, that I'm thinking about in our life was a, it was on a Tuesday night. I had a Monday, Monday night Bible study. I was there at church on Wednesday. Uh, I had a Thursday night uh, Bible study for uh, high school and junior high kids. And then I had, a, uh, I had Sunday that I had to be there both Sunday morning and Sunday night. And so we would get lots of phone calls. We would get lots of people coming over to visit and just to hang out and talk. And, and she's really social, and so that was great. But when she was feeling like uh, it was be becoming too much, uh, I just devoted a day to her. And so that was Tuesdays. And so uh, the rule on Tuesdays, I told everybody, was don't call me, don't you know, don't come over, uh, because if you come over, I'm going to tell you to go away. And if you call me, uh, you know, I'm just not going to answer the phone. So you're not going to be able to get a hold of me on Tuesdays. And obviously, if somebody was dying or something, then we do something like that. Just that, you know, that my um, that my wife knew that I was going to devote that time to her, and it was hers and only hers. Um, really helped out in, in the uh, arena of, uh, you know, focus on my wife. And so I've always kind of, I've always kind of been that way. I've always been really busy. And so I just kind of go through and prioritize. Another thing that you need to be paying attention to as far as uh, ministry goes um, is, are you in the ministries that God has for you? And so I, uh, that was something I learned early on as a Christian. I don't need to be doing everything. You know, I, you know, I don't have every gift of the Spirit. And I'm not the body of Christ. And so other people can do things. And so when, when I look at the ministries that I've been involved with, those are things that I prayed about and asked the Lord if he wanted me to do, do them. And then uh, when he said yes, then I devoted, you know, I devoted time to him. And uh, I'm kind of I'm like that. You know, there are times when, uh, you know, with how, the, how the person was talking about, you know, feeling like you're not doing things well and, and that kind of thing. And I, I understand that totally. I'm... Uh, I, I like things to come out really well. And so uh, that's just a part of my personality. And what I do is I do the best that I can uh, with the time that I have and with the resources that I have. And, um, and I always recognize that I am not the one 
that's supposed to be doing this anyway. It's supposed to be the Lord. And so ultimately, um, I study and I prepare and um, that's not what I'm ultimately dependent on. I'm dependent on the power of the Holy Spirit and the work of God in my life. I want Jesus to be doing the work. And so that's, that's kind of how I, I balance all those things. I think it's really important that you understand that in every aspect of your life, it's supposed to be Christ working through you. And you know, not just saying that, but it actually needs to be Jesus working through you. And so if you're feeling that way, then one of the things I would be praying about is, uh, God, I, I would be praying that God would fill me with the Holy Spirit, give me his power, and um, I would make sure that in everything that I'm doing, I'm dependent upon the Lord uh, for him to do the work in me. So, All right. Yeah.